Your doctor has prescribed chemotherapy medication for you. This video will guide you in how to give chemotherapy to yourself or to someone else. You will take this medication by injecting it with a special needle into the subcutaneous tissue, under the skin, into the area between your skin and muscle. Here are the steps you will take. Select a clean, dry work area. Gather the following supplies. Disposable gloves, if you are giving the injection to someone else. A pre-filled syringe of chemotherapy. Please note that if your medication has to be refrigerated, take it out of the refrigerator 30 minutes before your injection time or at the time it says on the label. The needle that has been prescribed for these injections. Two alcohol wipes. You can also use cotton balls and a bottle of rubbing alcohol. A bandage and a container for used equipment. You can use a hard plastic or metal container with a screw-on or tight lid or a commercial sharps container. Wash your hands with soap and warm water and dry them with a clean towel. Put on gloves if you're giving the injection to someone else. Open the wrapper of the needle, leaving the needle cap on and set it near you. Carefully remove the safety plastic cap from the pre-filled syringe of chemotherapy. The safety plastic cap has a safety seal on it that must be broken in order to inject the medication. Hold the syringe level, and with your other hand, pull the plastic cap off. Twisting the cap will not break the seal. When you hear the pop, the seal has broken. Remove the syringe cap and the plastic ring. Remove the needle from the wrapper and screw it onto the pre-filled syringe of chemotherapy. Since you will be injecting your medication on a regular basis, you need to know where on your body to inject it. You will also need to learn how to rotate or switch your injection sites. If you use the same injection site over and over again, you may get hardened areas under your skin that keep the medication from working properly. Rotating your injection sites will make your injections easier, safer, and more comfortable. Move the site of each injection. Inject at least one and a half inches away from the last spot where you last injected. Ask your doctor, nurse, or health educator which sites you should use. Keep a record of which injection sites you have used. Every time you give yourself an injection, write down the date, time, and site. Choose an injection site. Do not inject near joints, the groin area, the navel, the middle of the abdomen, or any scar tissue. The injection site is about two inches of skin. Clean this area in a circular motion with an alcohol wipe. Using the hand that you write with, hold the syringe like a pen or pencil with the needle end down. Remove the needle cap. With your other hand, pinch about two to three inches on both sides of the clean skin. Insert the needle with a quick motion into the pinched skin at a 45 to 90 degree angle. The needle should go all the way into your skin. Slowly push the plunger of the syringe until all of the medication is pushed out of the syringe. This should take less than 10 seconds. Count to 10, stop pinching your skin, and pull the needle out. You may bleed at the spot of the injection. If you notice bleeding, apply pressure with a clean alcohol wipe or cotton ball. Cover the injection site with a bandage if necessary. Do not rub the injection site. Do not put the cap back on the needle. Drop the entire syringe and needle into your container for used sharps equipment. Take off your gloves and throw them in the trash if you're giving the injection to someone else. Wash your hands with soap and water. If you have any questions about the subcutaneous injection procedure, please ask your healthcare providers. They are happy to answer your questions and concerns. Thank you again for choosing Cleveland Clinic for your care.